you know, it is there's the baseline love of genes, you know, in this country, but also over many other countries that I think, you know, they are riding um, clearly to a high. Liliana, how crucial was that trend to the sort of comfortable gene, the stretchy gene, as it were? Well, I think it was so crucial. And I think, you know, he nailed it. It's women weren't asking for leggings. It's not like all of a sudden every woman said, I want to wear leggings all day. It was about comfort. So if you can reach them on comfort and you can reach them on price point, because that's another thing that we're not talking about. You know, there was this big push towards premium denim for so long. Levi's delivers at that midpoint to that low point, especially with their partnerships that they have strategically with Target and Walmart. So they're going after a very different consumer but I do think that he's absolutely right if you cater to what the customer is asking for whether it's a legging or whether it's a jean or a jacket the customer will follow I did not know Kanye wore denim to the Met Gala <laughs> I'm reading this in your notes 2016 yeah. 2016 ripped denim bedazzled jeans jacket very it controversial <laughs> does, no, does something like that change everything you know, it means people talk about it, but I think it just goes to show you that really, you know, you can now wear denim pretty much anywhere in life. You know, you can wear it to work, you can wear it to cocktails, you can wear it on the weekend, and you can wear it to the Met Gala. But what except about the for the New York Stock Exchange. Mm -hmm. You yeah. cannot wear it except here. Except for today. Except, except for, for today, today, which I heard was very popular with all of the traders. You know, we talked to a gene executive today who said athleisure has peaked and denim is coming back. Why is it always painted as, as sort of one or the other? It sounds Either like from you. They're both in. You know, I think the truth is, as Liliana said, comfort is in. Mm -hmm. And if you can provide comfort in whatever fabric, you're going to win as a brand. So, you know, that's what I wonder about. I mean, I've actually, you know, have thought maybe athleisure I peaked know. before it actually did peak. Um, but is it comfort or is it what it signifies, which is I may just have walked out of a yoga class and I can afford Lululemon? Well, there's definitely that. When you look <laughs> at companies like SoulCycle and Equinox and Rumble that are so popular right now, I think it is about a lifestyle and presenting what that lifestyle means to you. Is that how you think about it? Right? Is that it? He's laughing. He doesn't, he doesn't trust my fashion sense. I know. I just pictured just Mike walking out of ago. a yoga class wearing no, Lululemon. I was, like, that was in quotes. Like, I know. Just two months ago, Sarah let me choose her sister's wedding. But I will say this. You know, <laughs> as a style expert, I work with hundreds of women throughout the year. And it does not matter what day it is. It doesn't matter what they do. It doesn't matter if they're mothers or professionals. The one thing they always want to shop for is denim. That is the one request I get more than anything. Thing. But you have to be careful with denim because at the same time, while it is so incredibly popular and it's not about a trend, you know, this is an item that has low loyalty because there's always a new brand popping up on the spectrum. It's an item that has very high returns because it's all about fit. And if you don't get that fit right, that item is coming right back to you, especially when we talk about online shopping. You've seen an explosion in the denim category when it comes to online shopping.